Hello everybody, this is Tech Hat. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a brief overview and description of the plugin PTweaks for Bucket. Now, simply what this plugin is, is an anti-lag plugin that manages chunks, it has a mob limiter, and a few extra things. So, what it does for the chunks is it loads the chunks that are needed first, it allows you to set view distances, and it unloads chunks that aren't being used, which increases the server performance. Like I said, there's also a mob limiter, which can help uh, reduce entities in the world, and make performance a lot smoother. So, here, that is basically a summarization of the about section, you could read that if you want to. On improvements, it makes your server run longer, smoother, without the need of restart, and it will basically drop your CPU usage a little bit, and it allows you to, like I said before, limit things and change down the view distances for people. So some of the features, there's Chunk Edit. Chunk Edit is a 100% customized chunk loading algorithm to enable quicker chunk loading of chunks, to enable quicker loading of chunks and priority packets. And then we have a monster limiter, so this is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to, like I said before, limit the amount of mobs per world, and you could do globally per world. So let's say you had a world for a mob arena, you could set that higher than the rest of your worlds for obvious reasons. And then we have chunk persistence, which just basically is just what controls the uh, chunk loading and disload. And we have ram check, so this is a command that will allow you to check for the ram. And then we have packet autosave, so this will allow you to change the autosave timing on your server. And then we have the TNT edit. So what this will do is if one TNT goes off, all the repeated TNT will just uh, mimic that one effect, making everything just a little bit smoother. So onto the installation, all you need to do is download it, stop your server, put ptweaks into your server folder. I have my server folder right here. And I already have it installed. All you need to do is put ptweaks in, in there and restart your server, and it will create this folder right here. So, in here, we have the auto save stopper, the chuck persistence, and the monster limiter. So, first, if we jump into the auto save stopper, the interval is how many ticks before each min save. So, you can change that to whatever you want in this feature. You can turn off or on. And then we have the chuck persistence, which is the uh, loading and disloading of chunks. You can enable or disable that. The lifetime is the minimum lifetime of inactive chunks in seconds. The prune is the cycle which inactive chunks are cleared. And the spawn chunk radius is the, is the radius of chunks that will load around the player. And it asks you not to change this. If you wanted to, you could also add a view distance, and that will do the distance in which the chunks are loaded. So we can close that out and go to the monster limiter and open that with Notepad++. And this you can enable or disable that. You can set the max mobs. This is the maximum amount of mobs that can globally spawn in any world. And then you can do custom worlds. So for a world, the monster limit is 2400 and the animal limit is 2400. That's the same for all the other worlds, and you can change that if you'd like to. You can add a world just by copying and then pasting it down, changing the name of this, and then adding the numbers there. And this you can obviously enable or disable. So that's about it for that. That's how you install it and how you configure it. That's a very simple config. Anybody can really figure it out. So now I'm going to bring up Minecraft and show you how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the ptweaks command. So all you do is type forward slash p tweaks to weeks just like that hit enter and it will give you some of the commands you can use so you have ptweaks info you can do ptweaks enable limit world ptweaks remove limit world and ptweaks kill so you can see a chicken over there and if i type p tweaks kill that chicken has disappeared so that is how you remove all the entities in the worlds. You can do the remove limit and then enable limit, and you can also do info. So the other command other than those is the ram command, which you might find yourself using a lot. If you type forward slash ram, that will just bring up the amount of memory listed, well, all the memories listed in megabytes. So the used memory is 368. The free memory is 217, and the total memory is 910. So that is how you use that. That actually concludes the video for this plugin. I hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way. I hope you enjoy this plugin, 
and I hope you comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.